Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King's Spade channel. So the new pets are now available in the game. Though I am actually satisfied with my Desert Wolf pet. I mean, the Desert Wolf pet is the perfect pet for my longbow penetration fire element ranger build. The Desert Wolf pet not only has physical penetration aptitude which help to increase further my ranger physical penetration stat. On top of that, it is fire element. Currently, my Desert Wolf pet has divine fire enhancement and divine fire attribute attack pet skill which both of these skills increase my fire attribute to a total of 45% damage but lately I am considering to change to the neutral element meaning I don't want to rely on element damage why I want to do that why I come to such decision you may ask well hear me out it's all because of the game progression as you progress in the game you will keep level up. As the players level up to the maximum level for the current version, the game will then continue to make new game expansion, new maps, new contents, with higher level monsters, with higher stats, and the struggle to meet the recommended stat for the new content against the higher level monsters with higher stat is real. It is a struggle. I give you an example. For level 110 map, the Komodo Island map monsters differing to the monsters database made by ROX Uni Discord team have an average of about 100% final physical damage. For level 120 map, the Umbala map monsters have an average of about 120% final physical defense. For the current version level 130 Juno map, the monsters have an average of about 136% final physical defense. The monster stats keep increasing. It become harder and harder to kill. As a penetration build, I need to find ways to increase my ranger penetration stat every time when the game introduces a new version to maintain the damage output. I'm sure it is the same for the crit build as well. You need to keep increasing your final crit stat to deal crit damage because the monster anti-crit stat is becoming more and more as well. With limited resources, it is hard to increase my ranger overall stat, the physical penetration, final physical damage bonus, physical attack, and element attribute damage. Ideally, all these stats should be increased, but for me, I can't do it all. It will use a lot of resources. It is easier to focus one stat at a time. So that is what I am planning to do, the one stat that I will be focusing on, and that is the physical penetration. To give you some context, I had replaced the fire attribute medal in the battle achievement to the final penetration medal. I am willing to take away the fire damage for more penetration stat. Not that I want to, but I need it because the Juno monsters have higher final defense. And I am planning to replace the Phenomena fire card to other card as well if I can get more useful card later on. And subsequently, to change the Desert Wolf fire pad as well. So that is the foreseeable option for me for my ranger for the way forward. Now side note, this is only for me, not necessarily the course of action that's suitable for your character. That being said, the Vedit pad seems like a good replacement for the Desert Wolf pad. It has physical penetration aptitude, the right stat for my penetration ranger, and undead element. I call this a universal pad element because it does not necessarily for specific element. I'm going to talk more about the undead pet skill later. What pet skill you should get? For now, let's get a vetted pet. For the vetted pet, you need the coin taming item. I don't have to buy it because I have a lot of these in the backpack. I just need 6 pieces to guarantee to get the vetted pet since now the cash rate is 100%. Initially, I am fine with just one cash because I'm not necessarily need more. But looking at the first catch pad aptitude, the penetration stat is quite low. So let's try a second catch.
the penetration stat is quite high but let's go for a third catch Alright, the penetration start is higher, so I'm going to stop catching here, and I'm going to use this one. I can always try to catch one with higher grade later, and just transfer the grade, so it's fine. Now the path skill that I want to get is the defense break and the reduction break skill. The defense break path skill will decrease the target defense, which is good for the penetration start. The reduction break skill will decrease the target dimension reduction stat so the target will receive more damage and further increase my dps so let's try to get these two skills and i have a lot of high level pets that i used previously the old pet system version the pet stamina do not last long unlike the current version of the pet system it can last up to three days but previously it barely lasts for one day so i use all this baby desert wolf pet in rotation when the pet's stamina is exhausted, I will change to the next one. And because of that, I also try to get a good pet skill for all of them. And with that, for the current pet system, releasing these pets will give me pet food and also the pet skill scroll. So I'm going to use this pet skill scroll to roll for the two skills that I mentioned. I ended up getting two similar skills, the defense break skill. One is level 2 and one is level 1. I can't seem to get the reduction break skill with all of the past skill scroll that I have. Level 2 skill reduce 5% final defense and level 1 reduce 4% final defense. 5% and 4% the number seems low, right? But if you have double penetration start, 5% final defense reduction is equal to 10% final penetration. That is quite a lot, I must say. And since the skill description says that the skill can stack, I wonder if having two of the same skill can actually stack the skill debuff. So let's test it. First, let's test the normal attack damage without the pad, and after that, test it when the pad uses the skill. The damage is actually increased. Let's wait for it to use the same skill again and test the normal attack damage. It does seem increased, but after that, the damage deal the same amount, even after the Reddit use the same skill. So it seems like the damage difference from my normal attack may be due to the different pet skill. One is level 2 which have 5% defend reduction and the other one is level 1 with 4% defend reduction. When the Reddit use the skill over and over again, the amount of the damage is the same. The debuff doesn't stack. Either it is a bug or the skill stacks does not take account on the same skill that it uses by the same player. Maybe if there are 4 players with 4 different Reddit pads, then the skill will stack. Next, let's test on the DPS on the MVP. I am going to compare the DPS with my Desert Wolf pad. After using all of the pad food on the Reddit from releasing some of my pads, the Reddit is now level 36 with 20.5% final physical penetration stat, actually higher than my level 48 Desert Wolf pad which has only 10.6% final physical penetration. So let's test it on the Frioni with maximum 130 level. Let's test it with the Desert Wolf pad first for 1 minute.
All right, next with the valid. The total damage using the Varied fall a little bit short. I guess it is because of the 45% fire attribute damage of the Desert Wolf Pet skill. 45% is quite a lot. I'm going to test it again when I got the Reduction Break Pet skill if I manage to get it in another video. So what do you think of the Varied Pet? Is it good? Can it replace the Desert Wolf Pet? Let me know at the comment below. That's it for this video. This time video shoutout goes to thank you for always supporting me and this channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video and as always happy playing bye bye